As the search for Brian Laundrie continues, more information keeps being revealed about the relationship between the late Gabby Petito, Laundrie, and his family. A previous co-worker of Roberta Laundrie, Brittany Coleman, made some boisterous claims about Petito and the events that surround her unsolved homicide. Brittany Coleman has been defending Brian Laundrie. According to now-deleted posts made by Coleman, she was a co-worker of Roberta Laundrie and has been fiercely defending Brian Laundrie. Related, Gabby Petito's parents say they were fooled by nice guy Brian Laundrie, reflecting a common abuse tactic. Internet sleuths have discovered that Coleman was allegedly very close to the Laundrie family, digging through old photos and comments and a post she made to Facebook on September 28. I know Brian and he's really nice and his mother is an absolute gem, she said in the post. Coleman worked with Roberta in Suffolk County back when the Laundries still lived in New York, where she claimed she got very close to the Laundrie family. Related, comment on Brian Laundrie's Instagram raises questions about an alleged history of abuse against Gabby Petito. Roberta Laundrie, the most kind and wonderful person in the whole world. She said in a post where she flaunted a poncho that was crocheted by Roberta. Brittany Coleman made some outrageous comments about Gabby Petito. I think the hardest thing is all the people acting like they know what happened before any information got out and talking horrible things about Brian and his family, she revealed in her Facebook post. She mentioned a lot about the media and people online twisting the story and making it seem like Brian and his family were evil, but that it couldn't be farther from the whole truth. Gabby has a laundry list of mental health issues, she continued, financial irresponsibilities, and other issues and Brian and his family have been so supportive through the years. Gabby was narcissistic, she claims. She was self-proclaimed OCD and the one with clear self-control issues. It was unhealthy for her to be in a relationship with anyone without getting her own mental health issues under control. Related, former prosecutor reveals details of how Gabby Petito's body was found after analyzing crime scene footage. In this same post where she berates Petito, she also claims that mental health issues are nothing to joke about and that there's still a stigma that scares people from getting the help that they need, emphasizing that people should help themselves and take care of their mental health. She also neglects to mention that Laundry admitted to not taking prescribed medication for his own mental health issues. Coleman's mother claimed that Roberta Laundry wanted Brittany and Brian to be together. A post made by someone believed to be Coleman's mother implies that Roberta would have preferred if her son was not with Petito. Roberta adored my daughter so much, she wanted my daughter and Brian to get together, she said. My daughter felt he was just too young for her as he was around 19 when she was turning 30. She also continued by confirming that Roberta was not fond of Petito and that she had many problems with her. Not having gainful employment, sleeping all day, drinking, smoking herb, not being grateful for meals, not helping around the house, etc., she said. She also mentions how the media and public don't know the truth about what really happened, but she doesn't seem to take any side, as she learned not to jump onto any bandwagons, until the truth is revealed. According to Coleman's mother, Brittany has reached out to the Laundrie family with no luck. Until Laundrie is found and the case comes to an end, the truth will not be revealed and Petito will not see the justice she deserves. Related, photos taken after Gabby Petito's death allegedly show bruising on Brian Laundrie's arm. Isaac Cerna Diaz is a writer who focuses on entertainment and news, social justice, and politics. Follow him on Twitter here.